Do you know that driver safety is not really talked about as much as it should be? And in today's video, I'm going to cover this topic, distracted driving. It's a huge deal. So just to break you in, I have this anonymous footage from a driver, so let's watch that. Now, think about it. When would you react and what would you have done? Listen in the background as you're going to hear the sound of what's going on. All right, so let's roll this video. Right two lanes. You can clearly see what's happening here. Listen in the background. That's right, that's an Uber Eats order getting accepted. That driver looked up just in time, swerved to the left, and missed that vehicle that was parked in the street. It was broken down. It wasn't on the side of the road. It was directly in that right lane. Very dangerous. So, what can be done about this? Let's talk about it. I think there's two things that can be done. Primarily, the main job of the gig economy company is to either slow down, reduce, or stop the amount of orders that they send to us when we're driving. This could be easily solved by using software engineers to adjust the algorithm. And yeah, I agree, it's gonna cost money. But you know what'll cost money as well? If the Uber Eats and Grubhub's out there, the Lyfts, the Ubers, get sued because they were distracting drivers and the driver had a collision, a death, something terrible. Here's another idea, right? When I'm driving without an order, I do have my apps on. But if I already have an order, here's another idea for gig economy companies. Wait until I get to the restaurant or the store, wherever you want to add on another option for me to accept an order wait until I stop. You can clearly see when I'm moving, so please let us drive safely to the destination and then send us another order. I'm so thankful to Valdestat's voice. He made a video. Check out his channel. He covered this same topic of distracted driving, and in there you'll hear how he shares how he was in a windy mountain road and Grubhub just kept bombarding him with orders. It is unsettling. So the second part of this video, what can I, what can you as a driver do to manage your own risk? I would say first, for new drivers, you cannot function on more than one app. You just can't do it, so don't try. Become proficient at that one app on your one phone and get used to it. Now you're, you know, you're an adult, you can figure out the best timing of that. Once you're proficient at that app and driving, then roll in a second app and do the same thing and then work your way up. You know, you'll have multiple apps on your phone or like me, I happen to have two phones. Do whatever works for you, but become proficient first. That'll minimize your risk of being distracted. It's kind of the same thing when you learn to drive. In the beginning, it was really hard. You couldn't have the radio on. No one could be talking to you. And then through time, you get better. So the same thing applies to doing the gig economy apps. The second thing that all gig economy drivers can do, and I'm gonna try to do this as well, I'll try my best to wait until I get to a location and then turn on all the apps. And I think that'll allow me to be as safe as possible. I do know that I'm not gonna just not have the apps on while I'm driving around because I do wanna have an order. So I, I already, I already know when I get an order, I turn off all the other apps and then finish that one. And then maybe about a minute before drop off, then I'll start the apps again so that I can keep busy with orders if that one app isn't giving me some. So I think what I'm gonna really have to do is just try to minimize the time that I'm driving and having the apps on because it's not worth the risk. You know, if I'm paying attention to my apps and I'm on a high speed freeway, change lanes by accident, cause a multi-car collision, injuries and death, it's not worth it. In city streets, do you wanna be looking down and not paying attention and potentially hit somebody or damage your car hitting a curb? It's just not worth it. So I'm gonna take that to heart and be a lot more careful when I'm driving and, and not allow the apps to distract me. The third thing that we as drivers can do is call the gig economy companies. 
That's right, call them and demand that you want a tracking number, something for your case to prove that you have told them you do not want to be distracted while driving and do not send me orders when I'm driving. Yeah, I get it. This may not be the best thing that we can do, but it is something that we can do. And then the gig economy companies will start getting calls and realize this trend for driver safety, which they deeply care about, so they should take action on it. And then hopefully, you know, God forbid if that ever happens, if you had an accident, at least then you would have proof in the record after they email you that you did tell them to stop sending you these when you're driving and uh, go from there. The next thing that we can all do is get the word out. Share this video. Share Valdestot Voices video. Start raising awareness of this critical issue of driver safety. My name is Russ. Please like this video and like the channel. Up next, I have another important driver safety topic, and this deals with bad weather. So think about this if you consider driving in bad weather. Is it worth having a vehicle accident? I do appreciate your attention, and I'll see you in my next video.